This enterprise security threat intelligence framework provides a very high scale, high capability method for finding threat intelligence hits inside of your environment. If we look at a list of all of our threat intelligence, we can expand and get all kinds of very quick context on what happened in this case, our demo data. However, some analysts want to be able to drill down more quickly into the underlying raw events. That is why the threat activity drill down for ES app has been created. It creates a workflow action so I can hit the drill down in the upper right hand corner and look at the underlying threat activity events. They'll bring me over into a brand new Splunk search. Taking the fields that we know from the underlying data and automatically populating it in. In this case, we know we found this data via WebSense. We had the earliest and the latest time that the original correlation search ran for, and then we've got the destination source pairing. We can also support different types of threat indicators. For example, if we had a file-based IOC hit, we might have the file name and then the destination, in this case, the host where it shows up on. And so this will allow us to be able to support multiple different types. If any of them match, we will be able to see uh, those events come through here. Any analyst who's actually directly looking at the threat activity data in the threat activity index will also be able to follow the same process by expanding any event hitting the event actions dropdown, and then again, showing the underlying events. It will do the same dropdown process of being able to uh, support, supply the particular fields that we found in that original thread until hit. So if you'd like to be able to get this functionality, go to Splunkbase or apps.splunk.com and search for thread activity drill down. Thank you very much.